this for this for all the people who think YouTube isn't a real job. All right. I ain't flexing. I ain't doing none of that. Um, this is only a thousand of the three thousand I made last month, by the way, too. Um, <clears throat> and that's just from YouTube alone. That's not even including the money that I earned from Facebook. That's not even including the money that I earned from my job at Walmart. That's not even including the money that I make from Instacart, right? Um, I'm a true hustler in life, y'all. Like real life, I'm, I'm real life a true hustler, and um. I just want y'all to know, like, internet money is real, for real, you know, and, um, I've been doing YouTube for five years, and when I started YouTube, I went into it, um, for the money, right, a lot of content creators don't like to admit that, but that's the reason every YouTuber does YouTube, is to make money from it. And um, when I started it, I I didn't know nothing about YouTube. I didn't know how to grow a channel. I didn't know how to get subscribers. I didn't even know all the requirements you needed to get monetized. I didn't even know how you made money from YouTube. So I taught myself everything. I just started watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos, just learning everything I could. This was five years ago, by the way. So I started this channel from zero, nothing. Um, it took me a year, an entire year to get 1,000 subscribers. My first four or five months, I think I only had maybe, I'd say about maybe four or 500 subscribers, right? And I was only getting like, I'd say between 50 to 80 views on average. So... The growth was slow, it was hard, and it was very unmotivating because I felt like I wasn't going to make no progress, but I just paid attention to other YouTubers, and I watched their backstories, and I watched how they came up on YouTube, and a lot of people said that that's just how the journey is when you start off off YouTube. Like, it's not easy to grow on YouTube. YouTube is one of the harder platforms to grow on because it do take a lot more effort to get people um, dedicated to watching videos of you rather than you making like short form content like on TikTok or Instagram or whatever. It's a lot harder to get people invested into just watching you and in, in like long form content. And it's very hard to get your videos out there from the very beginning. That was the hardest part for me is just getting my videos seen. Um, a lot of people start off vlogging, which is what I did. Wasn't getting no views because nobody was looking for the vlogs that I was doing. I kept my vlogs related to my life even early on. I first started off and the truth be told, nobody cares about what you're doing. Nobody knows you. Nobody has no connection with you. So vlogging, when you first start a YouTube channel, is not a good idea. So where the, the real growth started on my channel is when I started doing pranks. Right, I started doing pranks and challenges. Locked in on that for, I say about five months straight. Boom, went from a thousand subscribers to 6,000 subscribers, quick. I got monetized about, um, I say about maybe, yeah, about like six months later, once I started locking in. So uh, I locked in on, a, on a, uh, the pranks and challenges for six months straight and I had got monetized soon soon after that. And uh March 3rd of 2020 is when I got monetized. I'll never forget that date. I got monetized and I thought I was set at that point, right? I thought I was set. I'm like, oh, all my hard work that I've been putting in for an entire year, a little over a year, and finally monetized. That's where a lot of YouTubers want to get to, you know? That's the accomplishment. That's the goal. It wasn't really... <laughs> It wasn't as exciting as I thought it was going to be. The first day I got monetized, I was excited. I was excited the whole first month that I got monetized. So I'm like, dang, you know, seeing the ads play on my videos. I'm like, bro, this is fire, bro. Like, this is this is it. I'm here now. My very first month being monetized, I made $54. And every month after that, I made $30 a month for about 
three years straight after that. Literally making nothing on YouTube. It was almost pointless of me doing it. But, again, I kept watching stories and other YouTubers and, and just hearing how they got there. That kept me motivated. And just knowing that my channel was monetized, I kept thinking to myself, well, if I can get one video to go viral or to even just pick up a little bit of momentum, like maybe 100K views in a month, I'm like, that'd be enough momentum to, to really get things going. So that's what kept me motivated all these years. It's just the hope of one of my videos going viral because my channel already monetized. So I'm like, if I can get a video to go viral, the money going to be there. The subscribers going to come. The views going to come. But it just, it never happened. But I held on to that hope for, for, for what, four years straight after I got monetized. That one day, one of my videos will, will just take off. And then that, that'll be the, the real start of my, my YouTube journey, right? That's when I'll start making some good money. Here I am, four years later, right? After I got monetized. And I'm making around 3000 a month. Now, that fluctuates. Some months I had higher months. Some months I had lower months. But as of right now, I'm pretty consistent with the 3K a month right now. With the views that I'm getting. That's another misconception that a lot of people think about YouTube. Is that um, you need like crazy numbers to make decent money on YouTube. That's not true. If you got an engaged audience... If people are watching your videos from beginning to end and they watching those ads, like you will make some money, right? If you don't know, that's how YouTubers get paid from when you like the ads that you saw at the beginning of the video and throughout this video. That's how I get paid. Um, That's how all most YouTubers get paid, right? That's the main uh, revenue source for, for most YouTube content creators, right? That That YouTube directly pays you from, right? uh now there's a bunch of other ways to get monetized on youtube like you can do super things super chats where people can personally donate you money you know just showing them your appreciation you can do brand deals sponsorship deals you can do affiliate links you can uh you know sell your own merch and all of that youtube offers a lot more ways to monetize you can monetize your youtube shorts uh same with the ads and all of that um Yeah, it's a lot of ways to monetize on YouTube now, but the 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 main the easiest way to make money on YouTube is to just from views, right? People seeing the ads when they watch your videos. So um yeah, now like I said, fast forward four years later after I got monetized, you know, um I'm only at 3k a month. You know, so that's that still shows y'all like five years doing this to only be at 3k a month at this very day is still like damn bro like i shout <laughs> you feel me it might not be worth it to a lot of people you think five years just to make three thousand a month is 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 not worth it i wouldn't say for most people but just knowing the potential that you have and how things can change like that on youtube that's what keeps me motivated right and don't get me wrong i put in blood sweat and tears just to make this money right here you feel me like blood sweat and tears on this shit bro like real life and um like i said i'm very grateful for it because i remember when i was making 30 dollars a month you know for three years straight i remember getting 50 views a day i remember getting 20 views a day you know I remember hitting every little small milestone. I remember hitting my first 5K subscriber. I remember hitting my first 10K, my first 15K, my first 20K, you know? Um, and just the whole journey is just like, it's tough for real, right? And you got to be a very dedicated, motivated person to grow a YouTube channel, you know? And some people figure it out though, right? Some Sometimes it don't take as long for a lot of people if you just figure out the right videos that, that just hit the algorithm. Right, I see a lot of smaller channels that just started and they getting 50k views, 100k views, and they only got 15,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers. They figured out them titles that that just does good in the algorithm. Now, when I started my channel, those type of video wasn't being done. Right, a lot of people doing like 
how much they make on YouTube and things like that. Uh, kind of like the video I'm doing now, right? Hint, hint, trying to please the algorithm a little bit. You feel me? <laughs> trying to get YouTube to put some of my videos out here. But like these type of videos didn't exist when I started my channel for real. Not like new YouTubers wasn't doing this type of content. But now if you go look up, you feel me? Like finally got my first YouTube paycheck. You will see like these smaller channels getting crazy views. 100K, 200K, 300K in a month. 500K in a month talking about how much they made on YouTube and they only got a thousand subscribers. I see it all the time on YouTube. And so uh, that's just the, the grind that I'm on right now. Like my my vlogs, my daily vlogs, you know, um, they don't do as well as some of the other things that I talk about. Like a lot of times I try to stick to topics that I know that will get the most engagement for real. Um, you know, some people, they come on my channel, they comment and they they take it really personal on some of the topics I talk about. Uh, but really, it, it don't even, be, I don't even be personally, it don't even really be too personal for me. It's just, I be trying to please the algorithm for real. But a lot of people don't know that, you know, the goal is to get engagement. The more engagement you get, the more likes you get, the more likely YouTube will recommend your videos to those people again. And YouTube will start to push your videos out more, right? So it's important to get engagement. And, um, but, you know, I've been grinding for a long time and I, I felt like I managed to really build a solid um audience right now i got a very diverse audience all of my audience is, is older people like my age and up like i ain't got no teenagers or kids watching my channel because i don't do that type of content you know my content is really revolved around my life and what i go through in my life and how i'm trying to you know balance the working the jobs and doing content and figuring out life and all of that like that stuff i do content that correlate to to people my age and older you know, and um, yeah, you know, it's, it's just very diverse. Some people got mixed opinions. Some people support. Some people be in between, you know. um, But, you know, it's just like that for real, you know. But the fact that I'm able to get, you know, I'm averaging between one to 3,000 views on average. uh, And that's an accomplishment because it's hard to, to, to get anybody to watch you on YouTube, especially consistently. So I don't really be too hard on myself because I know how far that I, I, I want to be and that I deserve to be. I feel like my, my channel is worth 100k subscribers, you know? And I just personally feel like that. I feel like a lot of my content is very informative, different. I feel like my personality is is, is just a, it's a different feel for how I approach my content. This is what people told me, you feel me? So it's not just I'm just saying this about myself. A lot of people feel like this channel is really different. A lot of people tell me all the time that your channel is going to blow up. Just keep going. Uh, but yeah, the reality is, man, it's hard. And some people get just luckier than other people. Some people figure it out first. I just really haven't figured out that algor algorithm type of content that just do well. You know, I mainly stick to lifestyle vlogs, which don't really perform as well on my channel as when I talk about strategic topics. Um... But yeah, anyways, I'm grateful for how far I got, you know, but I just know that if I want to continue to grow, if I want to continue to earn money, because at the end of the day, that's the goal. That's why I'm here. You know, you know, I, I have a genuine passion for this. That's why I've stuck to it for five years. But it's also I'm here because I want this to be a full time job for me. Now, I am making full time income now, but for me, I'm trying to reach at least 10 K a month you know, realistically by the end of this year. Now, I've set goals for myself on my channel every year. Never really re reached my goals. N none of the years I've been on YouTube, but I just continue those goals for the following year. You know, you just got to stay dedicated to something for a long time, you know, and don't and don't like compare your channel to other people's channel. I don't do that. I don't, I rarely watch other people's channel unless I'm just trying to learn and see what other people are doing that's getting a lot of views with, with smaller channels. But other than that, man, I don't really watch other people's channel. I just try to figure out the algorithm. I try to, you know, figure out what my audience enjoys most because it all starts with your audience. Your audience have to tap into your video for YouTube to start to push it out. So it's important to please your audience first. And then, you know, hopefully those videos start getting pushed out. But sometimes you just got to experiment with content. I've been a little bit scared to experiment too crazy because I don't want to. Like I said, my audience is just, they, they, 
most of y'all out here, like, y'all like a certain type of content. And I, I don't know, man. I just got a very diverse audience. But, um, um, I just went into that whole little spill on YouTube. The point of this video is to let y'all know that YouTube money is real. Internet money is real. I've been doing it for five years. I didn't make no money at first. I didn't make no good money at first. I made pennies at first. But, you know, now I'm making thousands per month. And a lot of people like to think that YouTube or internet is not a real job. It is. It's real money. This is real money that can pay real bills, that can pay real expenses, that can really help you out. Just imagine if you had an extra 3000 per month to spend, you know, that'd be very helpful for the majority of people, you know. Um, uh, so I'm just letting y'all know, man, you know, it's, it's possible to make good money on the internet if y'all thinking about starting a YouTube channel, even if you never thought about starting one think about it you know passive income you know i'm making money from videos i've done a year ago you know and so like that's the the best part about doing youtube is that you always will make money from your content you know um but i'm just on a mission to continue to grow man continue to figure out the algorithm and and trying to get my videos pushed out there i feel like i got the the potential i got the back catalog uh so it's just about getting more people, get more eyeballs on my channel. And so if I can do that, then I'll be set. Because I feel like once I really do start to hit that algorithm a little bit, I feel like my channel will pick up some real momentum. Like, you know, my goal is to 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 have this channel at between 20 and 50K a month. That's the 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 entire goal for this channel, right? I want this to be, you know, one of those channels, you know, I want this to be a bigger channel right a million millions of subscribers millions of views um and i would recommend only doing one channel too like don't don't try to grow different channels because it's like trying to start different businesses you know when you're not successful at one business how can you be successful at multiple businesses so start establish one channel if you do want to do youtube and then start branching out and just focus on your your, your one youtube channel focus on maximizing your views and engagement and making the most money from that one channel before you start trying to branch off into other revenue streams because that can mess you up too you know um but yeah man I mean, there's nothing to it you know there's some people out there getting hundreds of thousands of views just sitting in their car talking so you know i'm trying to tap into that type of content like, i'd be putting a lot of effort into my to my vlogs you know and like you know i'd be only getting like maybe one or two thousand views on average on one of my just regular life vlogs but if I do a video talking about, you know, certain topics that can get pushed out way more. You know, so it's really about giving people value on YouTube. And so that's why I'm about to start tapping more into that type of content for real. Because uh, at the end of the day, the content that I really want to do is is vlog. I just like vlogging my life. But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do to build an audience, to get the eyeballs there. And then you can branch off. That's normally the format for most creators is to build to do content that you don't really want to do. And then once you got the audience, you got the subscribers, you got the revenue coming in, then you can branch off into just doing what you really want to do. So that's my goal, right? I don't really like doing the other type of content. I just like vlogging my life. But I understand I, I, I got to get people here first to have people actually to watch my life. But I managed to do that, you know? I got a few thousand people, you know, tuning in every video, even if it is a, a random vlog. Uh, I, like I said, I get at least a thousand people a day just on a regular day in a life vlog which is an accomplishment for real but i just know i gotta keep going keep growing but uh yeah youtube money real y'all i'm about to go put this back in my bank account uh and i just hope the video can motivate y'all a little bit because you know i don't do this stuff for no reason y'all you know it's it's yeah it's i'm very grateful y'all you know i'll be you feel me? I be getting a little emotional sometimes and just looking at how far I came on my channel. I don't really show too much of my emotions no more like I used to. Because sometimes people just, you know, people don't really care about you as much as you think they do. Especially now on the internet. So I realized that you can't be on here looking weak. <laughs> and I used to look weak on here all the time. So you just gotta, you know, just, just make my content, accomplish these goals. And hopefully y'all can just get value and good entertainment. That's the goal. So, yeah, I hope this motivated you. I'll see y'all in the next video. Uh, make sure you watch this video at the end of the video that's coming up. And um, I love y'all, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow. New videos every day. You know that. Make sure you be here. Yes, sir.